Welcome back to the 25 days of puppy Christmas card ideas where we're helping you decide what you're going to do for your Christmas cards with your dogs this year. This one is all about your pup cub. The 25 days of puppy Christmas card series can be done with one or many dogs created with a traditional camera or your phone done in your house or outside and range from elegant and refined to fun and quirky so there's a fit for everyone. And don't forget, these photo shoot ideas also make for great social media advent calendars even if they aren't all going to be used on your Christmas cards. If you're using a traditional camera, I recommend you set up a remote shutter release through a clicker or an app on your phone so you can take photos from where you're posed. If you're using your phone, I recommend you set it to cinematic video and take screenshots of the best frames after since pups tend to move around a lot and you don't want to stress over missing the shot. Each of these episodes is designed for a specific card template that will link in the caption, but you can use this on whatever template works best for you. For this one, you're going to need a cute background. This is actually a shower curtain for Christmas and a mug that you're going to put some whipped cream in for your pup cup. Now, here's a pro tip for this. You do not have to fill this entire mug up with whipped cream for your dog. I used a styrofoam cup that I ripped part of and put that base in and I put the rest of it around. I'm going to spray my foam on it and that way I'm going to be able to give her a little bit of a treat without overwhelming her with that sugar. Then you can either sit down on the floor, you can hold your puppy if it's a tiny puppy and you're going to be able to just take those really cute pictures with them sniffing, licking, eating their pup cubs. Drop your photo into Photoshop or whichever photo editing platform you were going to be using. And we're going to start with a head swap. So I've got this really cute picture of Ember. She has just licked the whipped cream. In reality, she did not. She wanted nothing to do with it, but we're making it look that way. And I don't love that I'm not looking at her or at the camera. This is not what I want it to be for my card. So I'm going to drag in a second image. And you can see how now it's not the cutest image of Ember. I don't have one that's a happy medium, so I'm going to head swap this. It's actually really easy. So I am going to make sure I've highlighted the layer I'm going to be masking out. And I am just going to lasso my face here. It doesn't have to be the whole thing. It doesn't have to be a great lasso because we're going to use our brush to fix it. Then I'm just going to add a layer mask. And now all of a sudden, look how much better that is. Now you can tell I've done that. We have to fix it. But this is already with her licking her little nose there, me looking at the camera, much, much better. So now on a soft round brush, 100% opacity, I'm going to paint out anything I don't like. And look how ready, how much easier, how much nicer that is. 100% opacity. I just painted out what I didn't like. Now I can toggle it on and off. And all I have to do is check to see if there's any weird lines. Is there anywhere where you can see weird things right here along my cheek? You can see it's a little bit blurry. You wouldn't have noticed unless I pointed it out. And I did, so I'm gonna fix it. Now I'm gonna keep going. Do I see anything else that's weird? If I do, I fix it. If not, I'm good to go. Look at that head swap. Look how easy that was. In fact, maybe right here, I just wanna tweak just a little bit of my hair. I can just add a little bit in. Look at that, look at that. I added a highlight, we're all good. So now we've got this going on here. We can do our local retouches so I can bump up my brightness and my contrast if that's what I want to do. Maybe I don't want to do it so much because the puppy doesn't work with that, but my face needs to be brightened a little bit because I'm kind of in the shadows here. So I'm just going to lasso my face again. I'm going to bump up the brightness and the contrast, and then I'm going to use a soft round brush, 100% opacity white. And on white, you can paint in that light. So now I look even brighter up here, which means I need to balance it just a touch, reduce my opacity, go to black, and then paint it off of the areas that are too much. I could go in, I could add a little bit more light to my cheek here. I don't really care, I think it's fine, but if you need to, you can. You can add just a little bit of brightness there. And then on your software and brush 100% opacity, you're gonna paint that in. That's 31% opacity, so we're actually gonna bump it back up. And then I can bump it down and even it out right under my eye where the light is reflecting a little bit weirdly, but that's fine. Everything is fine. So now I'm going to come in. I am going to maybe lasso that whipped cream there. And I'm probably going to bring that down just a little bit. We don't want to blow out that colors there. So I'm going to bring down my brightness. Look at all the detail that just came back in that. And so on, it's off from brush 100% opacity white. We are going to paint that back in. And I can, if I want, I can even darken down my mug or I can change the, the contrast of my mug to make it stand out just a little bit more. And then if I need to, I'm just going to darken the dog down a little bit because she has that lighter fur. And so sometimes it removes some of the detailing in there. So I'm just going to brush this then over her to make sure her fur sticks out the proper way. 
Now, if you want, you can use your spot heal tool to come into your layer with the background. If you find that there are some wrinkles, you can come in and you can fix those. I, again, don't really care. I'm fine with this the way that it is. But if you want to be very specific about what it is or isn't, you can come in and you can tweak things however you are going to want to do that. And if it goes too much, then you're just going to use your command Z key to remove that. And again, you can be as specific as you want. If you're going to be doing wrinkles, I do recommend that you are zooming in on this so that it's easier for you to see what you need to do. Then all you have to do is drop your overlay on top of it, something along the lines of wishing you a sweet Christmas and you are going to be good to go. Now there's multiple ways that you can be doing this. I love the idea of doing a multi-window where you're gonna treat it like a photo booth. You're going to have them lick it. You can lick it. You should probably do it first. You can pretend a lady and then tramp it with you both taking a taste of that pup cup. You can do all sorts of things or you can use it as a single window. You wanna lean into the sweet treats, the pup cup of it all. Lean into those fun, just treat parts of Christmas as you are designing your card. And of course, there are 24 other ideas that you can be using leading up to your social media advent calendar, big reveal of your Christmas card for this year. So we've got lots of ideas for you here on the channel and we've got lots more coming for you as well. This is a fun one because your puppy gets a reward for being good for their pictures, for their photo shoots, for their video shoots. And you can too, if you want, you can actually have two cups if that's gonna work best for you. And you can just lean into all of the fun, right, Ember? That's right. Come back for more episodes of the 25 Days of Puppy Christmas Car Ideas, and we'll see you in the next episode.